Hey YouTube, this is the React City. I'm Arthur. I'm Rose. I'm Miki. And this is Attack on Titan. Last time we had the big flashback where we saw Ymir and all. Wait, that wasn't a big flashback. We had the episode after the big flashback. Yeah. Where it, apparently the reason the episode didn't go as much in, um, like the plot didn't move like super fast was because only one chapter was translated according to some commenters. Oh. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that trend will continue or if we're going to speed back up. I'm kind of wondering why they did that. Yeah. Maybe. They're pacing it, and they're like, okay, this has to all happen at one time, so it's yeah. not here. But yeah, anything from the last episode you guys want to talk about? Um, Connie stole Colt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Falco. Falco. <laughs> Colt I think their names are they're the same person. They should be swapped. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to feed you to my mom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Gabby's dead set on getting him back. Even hearing this news, she's like, no, I'm, I still have hope. I have to try and get him. I have to go get him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Reiner is uh, recovering mm. in a mm. random house somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Reiner, since he's left, I mean, all the way back to episode 6 of season 2, I think when he fought Aaron on that wall, he's been getting bodied. Every time we see him, he just gets slapped around. <laughs> yeah. I kind of miss terrifying Reiner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even so, just, just, just one fight. Just one fight where he looks like he knows what he's doing, you know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so guys, the episode's about to drop. Thank you guys very much for being here. If you like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Remember to check the Patreon description if you guys want to help us out or see the uncut version of this reaction or anything that else that we do. Check socials in the description, including the shorts and the reels. Thank you very much. Oh, the daydream. Yeah. Yeah, they're in fighting now. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> There's more Jaegers. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> this is trouble. Yep. They're already starting to fight. Did you see that? <laughs> They're like starting to push. Uh oh. Was that Annie? What, like, the puddle? It's definitely Annie. <laughs> Ambush! She's just went. To, she gonna die. Well, careful, Hitch. She don't know how she's uh, going Oh, she let her footprints go oh, the no. other direction. Yep, she's... Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, she's older now! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh. She's bluffing. Or betting on her bluff. Stay! That <laughs> 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 fixes all the problems. <laughs> Ah, so she was hearing. Oh. The whole time? Wow, for years. Wow. Dang. You and Armin. Wow. <laughs> Eat. So what was your goal? Her daddy! Oh, she was abandoned by her real parents. To give himself a better life. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Better. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> She's no mercy. Mercy. Wow. Wow. She repaid him. <laughs> oh, wow. He was so happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this your life story? 
。シャラブンですね。いや、いや。Exactly. She's dead inside. <laughs> These people mm. haven't seen the massacre yet. Yeah. I think it's going around then. Yeah, they might be okay. Oh, <laughs> Or not? Could we all have the same dream, man? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. You literally just said it. You're overestimating her value, but okay. The girl has it. Still not her name, but okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Me is better. <laughs> it's a new life. I thought you'd still call her Gabby. Mia. <laughs> Up on the fly, hmm. so he told them. Arch. And Buck is weird. 
I wonder if he's giving him the next, the type next. Hmm. Oh, he's being indoctrinated. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's helping him. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's. Um, he's I think he suspects something. <laughs> or not? Um, oh, I think he's playing the part of an amnesiac. Yeah, on the, on the airship when you killed his best friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, Henji. He's like, sup? <laughs> She's asking for them. Oh. He refuses to die. She fetched him up. <laughs> Discuss. Discuss. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, more setup mm -hmm. this episode. Mm -hmm. This is this is making me feel like the, the climax of this series is going to be like Nuts. five episodes long. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Because we have so much setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I guess it is just like, it's sinking in now. Like he's got off to do the thing. Yeah. There's nothing anybody can do right yeah. now. Yeah. Unless, out. unless the only thing that I can think that can help right now is Zeke. Yeah. But Zeke is comatose. We don't know what's happening to him. I think he he's is. in a bad mental place after being basically like seeing, thinking he was the one in control. Mm -hmm. Only to find out that this brother he's trying to save and bring on his side has mm -hmm. been manipulating everything. Yeah. everything. And on top of that, the father, who he's hated all of his life, actually turned out to be the good guy yeah. and a good father who missed him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys remember Hitch? Uh, I don't. I remember the name Hitch. I remember she the was name too. there along with Flock. Yes. Right? Well, well, no, no, no. Flock was yes and no. Um, so, Flock, I think, was one of the newer recruits, but she did meet him. Um, she was friends, slash, it was very clear they liked each other with another military police. Mm. When Erwin, like, the Beast Titan had come back, and mm. most scouts were dead. And so, Erwin gathered up volunteers yeah. for a mission. And mm. her best friend guy was like, I gotta go, I gotta be part of something. Yeah, and then he died. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I have no recollection of when Flock and the, this younger, the younger generation entered the scene. A little bit before the Irwin situation. Yeah, I don't remember anything about them. Yeah. he. I I think... He, I don't think he was a military police. I'm pretty sure he was one of the newer recruits where they were like, we're scraping the battle, just getting next gen going. Mm -hmm. And he's the only survivor of the charge. Everyone died except Flock. Because mm -hmm. remember, he picked up Irwin and was like, we got to bring back Irwin. Yeah. And they were like, on no, the, the When they were on the roof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I remember that. Because it was, it was Aaron versus Flock and Levi was the one to make the decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and he he only wanted to bring back Irwin so that he could live with <laughs> live with it, basically. He was like, he has to see what he did. Oh, he, he wanted him to like see it as his punishment. Yeah. Uh, yes, but there's also an extension of, um, Flock had seen the world for being extremely cruel as after encountering the Beast Titan, mm -hmm. and so he was saying, yes, Irwin was a devil for everything that he put everybody through. But they need it if they're going to fight monsters. Right. And I remember that argument. Yeah. So we need someone like him who's willing to make a tough call. Mm. Which is what he eventually saw in Aaron. 
Very, very true. Yeah. Speaking of um, that moment, we see Armin saying, I regret being the one being saved. Yeah. I shouldn't have been saved. Like I was the wrong person to bring back. It was like, oh. Yeah, I understand him feeling that way because I'm looking at Mikasa. Mikasa is so lost without mm-hmm. someone yeah. telling her what to do. Yeah. Like she before, she was depending on Aaron for everything. Mm-hmm. And now Aaron is you know off crazy and she's let go of him mm-hmm. she's like relying on Armin it's like so what about this and what about that and poor Armin is like exploding on her oh no <laughs> but it's like my best friend went crazy and is off to destroy the world <laughs> what do you expect me to do but even in his rant though he was bringing up all the pl- the little things that are like could go wrong he, th- he was the one who thought of Annie he thought of, all of, it. Mm-hmm. He thought of his story he's thinking of the people that we saw with with Gabby who mm-hmm. Gabby was going around he's thinking of every little place so even though he feels like he doesn't you know fit the role mm-hmm. his mind is there it's just he he doesn't have the experience in it to find an answer mm-hmm. you know yeah. I mean nobody has experience enough to find an answer for this but yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, the first step of fixing a problem is recognizing the problem. And he clearly, he sees all of it. All mm-hmm. of them, It's just yeah. it's a lot for yeah. anybody. It even if Aaron was there, Erwin was there, even though I don't think he would have snapped like that, no. he wouldn't know what to do either. No. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. he, he, would, he would be more methodical in thinking about it and putting on a, a strong look, be a leader for yeah. everybody. Yeah. Which Armin, Armin just is not that type of person. He's not... Yeah. He I, it's Something interesting, I was thinking about, like, is that with that situation like how much of a leader he could be i've always thought of him as just this soft person mm-hmm. very soft and when he was standing up to his friends is when leadership material started coming out of him mm-hmm. in, in my eyes mm-hmm. but um this moment where he's feeling like he can't do anything still i feel like wow he he's showing material to be a good leader mm-hmm. yeah. but he's just he still needs to grow into it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like at the moment at the moment, I do think the call, the better call would have been to save Erwin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because so far, with everything that has happened, mm-hmm. Erwin, I feel like, would have made a more of a impact politically and been able to hold people together. And Like, Pixis was the one holding everybody together mm-hmm. after the premiere died. I think Erwin would have been able to help with that immensely. Um, and especially help with the Levi situation. Yeah. Um, but I think the moment for Armin to prove himself is coming. Yeah, yeah me too. Definitely. If there's anyone who can pull... Aaron back or figure out how to deal with Aaron, it will be him. Armin, it yeah. needs to be his best friend who figures it out. Yeah, and yeah. I also think a couple problems with Aaron winning or being the one saved. Aaron would have like gone into a deep pit of despair. Oh, from way way quicker, way quicker. Yeah. Like he would have turned them to a rampage much faster. It would have been harder to control him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially since I think I can't remember if it was before. I think it was after that moment where he saw the the vision with his story, wasn't it? He yes. was older. Yes. yes. Yeah. It was very quickly after. He was after. Um, yeah, that would have been like, he would have gone mad, basically. Mm-hmm. And secondly, I think Erwin would have been a bigger target for the Jaegerists. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think yeah. he wouldn't have been able to sneak through like Armin. Armin was just locked up with, with his friends because mm-hmm. they don't they don't really want to hurt them. And yeah, they're just, Aaron like, they're just said, the scouts troop. Not even that. Aaron probably said, because apparently Flock knew. I, I doubt it. He knew something. I doubt it. But you, okay. you think he just picked, figured it out at this moment? Yeah, I think he's trying to. He's pulling a, a follow me, oh, my okay. dear friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was gonna say uh, maybe Aaron put in a word that they shouldn't be hurt, even though he's kind of putting on this, mm. this, th- this stance. I don't know. Mm. Even saying that though. If it, even if they tried to get him, there's no guarantee they would have gotten him. Because look at what he, he, Levi, right? Mm. Erwin typically was always with Levi. Mm. Yeah. And Levi bodied all the Titans in that forest by himself. Mm. By yeah, himself. This is true. It was just a slip up that got him Yeah. Mm-hmm. so hurt. I guarantee you, Erwin, uh, if he survived that, would have been there and been able to help pin Zeke. Yeah. But it all comes down to whether or not Erwin drinks. <laughs> that's what I was thinking like if he drunk because Levi doesn't drink that's yeah. the only reason he was saved yeah. mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if it's that he doesn't drink but he didn't want to drink while everybody else was drinking and they were on patrol right, watching I, this but, very dangerous felon and he, he wasn't going to let his guys drink either and they were yeah. like please 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 yeah. I was like fine yeah in that context Aaron wouldn't have drunk no Aaron because he's a leader yeah, yeah definitely if Levi was like that Aaron definitely wouldn't have mm-hmm. yeah but if we go back to the top, mm-hmm. um, Hitch and Annie. 
Yeah, yeah. and he's passed. Mm. We find out she was abandoned by her her Marlian parents. Marlian and Eldian. Yes, because her, her mother had an affair, mm. abandoned her. And this guy just stole her in front of the orphanage. Right? <laughs> that wasn't the orphanage. That was, that was that their was house. Their, that was, uh, that was like their house? Yeah, it's like they're, they're, they're not even going farther. They're just like put it outside the gate. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was like... She left her in front of the place. I'm like, oh, he's he's like, like, this baby. is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently he was there for similar reasons. Which, if you think about it, so was Reiner. So we have Reiner, Annie, what's his name? Le- Lion- Leonhardt. Mm-hmm. I- I'm I'm tempted to think that like half of the Eldian population are just products of, of affairs Fair. at this point. <laughs> Reiner? I don't remember Reiner. Yes, it's, that's why he... Uh, went a little crazy because that's why he wanted to become the honorary Marlian because he wanted his mother to be able to be with his father but then his father was like I regret everything (laughs) I vaguely remember that yeah but yeah so her her father figure he taught her the combat style of his homeland which Mm -hmm. other people have pointed out in the past is very similar to Muay Thai Mm -hmm. so very foreign yeah he was a what do you call it the the immigrant, she she said, a foreign, foreign something? Foreign, foreign something. She said, she used the word, I don't remember the word. But yeah, he he was only focused on trying to redeem himself mm-hmm. through her. Meal mm-hmm. ticket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, unfortunately, you know, did not grow up well under that. Mm-hmm. But he changed his ways at the last minute. The last, <laughs> the last, last minute. The last, last minute. Yeah. Serious. And it, at least it, it it reached her. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was almost, it's, well, we don't know, <laughs> kind of, maybe too late. But um, it did reach her and change her heart towards him, which is a good thing. And she she did at least reciprocate in, in that moment. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah. So she doesn't care about anything at all, but she knows she's got a home to go back to. So yeah. she's willing to fight for it, maybe. Right. That's her only motivation. Otherwise, you be dead. Yeah. yeah. You're crazy weak right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. So I, I wish I uh, I wish I could remember Annie and Hitch's previous experience, uh, 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 relationship. Um, yeah. So the only thing was is that Annie bugged Hitch a lot because she was super formal and Annie did everything perfectly. Oh, I think remember? I remember that. Yeah. No. Because she went to the military police. Annie wasn't a scout. And she was basically spying on the inside. And Hitch was always like, why do you got to be so uptight about everything? Because no one in the military police really did anything. They just hung around all day. But Annie took it very, very seriously. And so they bugged each other that way. But that was the extent of their relationship. Mm, I don't remember. Mm, very long time ago. I remembered and then I forgot immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we find out that, con- that, that Annie has been conscious the, the whole time. For four Years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The good thing is she wasn't like hearing them very clearly. It was yeah. like they were far away, but she could she could hear their voices. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, they kept her up to date. Yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately, I guess now that she's in a better state of mind. Mm-hmm. Um, she probably they probably kept her sane as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. She, she said they otherwise were the only two voices she heard. Yeah. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it was just pitch darkness. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, most of that was probably Armin. Because Armin, when we did see flashes of him, he was like he was actually up to dating her, like mm-hmm. telling her everything recently. It's like happened. so this happened. Yeah, we got Aaron back. Yeah. Sasha's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like all of that. Mm-hmm. But she Hitch apparently just talked about her guy problems all day. <laughs> yeah, like please go. <laughs> <laughs> I I vaguely remember. I remember seeing two people talk to Annie, and when I saw the girl, I remember her looking angry. Yeah. When she was, and I think probably because she was talking about her guy problems. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what she was talking about. I remember her like cussing Annie out, like I don't remember her being happy about Annie. So it could have been that she was just angry at her betrayal. Could That's what I, I can't remember exactly what I what I saw. I don't remember. Hmm. And then the Jaegerists are tagging. The just just oh, one thing before that. Why do you think he should let her go? She was like, well, if you're leaving it's, it's all the better for us i think hitch just still feels uh her heart connection to annie and doesn't want to be the one to kill her you or... mean friendship with heart connection yeah sure what's, what's <laughs> heart I, I, didn't want, I didn't want to say friendship Our because i didn't connection. remember i don't because i'm asking you guys their relationship i don't remember their relationship so <laughs> i didn't want to say friendship okay friendship their her her, her connection to her and she <laughs> stop. 
she um, feels guilty. If, like, if she was to be the one to lead to her death, I think um, she would feel bad. Like, she'd rather be a hands-off, like, take her to the basement, somebody else find her. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, and also her men were coming yeah, so to how- her while Annie might turn into a titan. That too, that too. But she was she was bluffing or no she was like pushing her, what do you say how do you say that pushing her bluff like b- calling her bluff. calling her bluff yeah because mm-hmm. she might not have been able to transform at all anyways mm-hmm. and I think she was pretty confident that she wouldn't have been able to um, so I don't know that may have been part of the the reason she did it too but I, I don't think it's as big a reason she was sweating when she you didn't see her sweating well yeah sure <laughs> but also I'm like wondering how did they were like banging on the door like I'm coming in <sighs> like, don't like, worry I'm just uh, peeing in this I'm closet. half naked don't come in <laughs> like what did she say and then make them walk away Maybe for her to escape she just chucked Annie out of the window I think there's a reason they cut away <laughs> it's <laughs> so like we can't figure out how we're gonna do this so let's just like put it into the imagination <laughs> Yeah, you were saying about Rhaegaris? Yeah, the Rhaegaris, we see um, Scatus. Mm-hmm. Um, they're patching up Scatus. and they're, Is it Shattus? Shattus. We see Shattus. And he's... The, the Jaegeris are coming to town. He he was an, a good boy this year, and they checked their list twice. His name is on it. You know, Or not. Well, they're coming for him. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... So the the men are like, we gotta, we got, we'll protect you. And he's like, you idiots, protect, protect yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think I let you kick my butt? Right, and he's like, he could have kicked their butt, yeah. but he's like, no, I want them to save their lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he gave he gave up his position. Um, a little before that too, with more Jaegers are born in the the villages. Yeah. In the the there's two factions here. The ones mm-hmm. who are like, look at what Aaron is doing. He's not on our side. And the ones are like, no, this is, you know, a means to an end. Yeah. And this is yeah. our sacrifice we have to make. We're going to kill all those fools out there. So, and it's a lot more people who are on Aaron's side, apparently. Yeah. And they're, they're probably going to cause a riot as, what's, what's her name? Hitch. Not, it was Hitch out there? Hitch was calling for a riot, oh, it was yeah. Hitch. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hitch was um, hearing that going on. Mm-hmm. So it's, they're a little bit nervous. It's a compelling argument. Yeah. yeah. Like they remember a few years ago, these guys didn't even know there was a world outside of them. Yeah. You know, like uh, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago, and now all of a sudden they know that they're considered devils by everyone else, mm-hmm. and not only that, but they came, attacked the city. They literally want to commit genocide. Mm-hmm. Like, let's kill these guys. Yeah. yeah. It's not hard to. Yeah, Cause especially to them, like the the whole world outside is like a very like amorphous thought for them. They don't realize how much how many people would yeah. die. Yeah. yeah. They, they can't fathom that. No. They, They've never like, left their world. Yeah, for the, for them, like, the, the the outside world could be, like, one other town. It could be, like, 50 million other towns. It's, like, the e- equal to them. They can't yeah. fathom that number of people. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. since they've lived on this island their whole lives. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so when they were up there arguing, um, Falco, not Falco, Flock, but the mm-hmm. gun to that guy's head eventually kills him. Yeah. Um, so who is he? Because he, he, they were showing his face like we should know him, and Gene was upset when he was killed. He's just one of the volunteers of that the they've volunteers. been working with. Yeah. For oh, okay. So they just kind of know them well. Yeah, yeah. They know all the volunteers, too. Mm-hmm. They okay. were buddy-buddy. Mm-hmm. They, they, all the volunteers have unique faces, mm-hmm. and for a reason of, yeah, they did know them, and they were friends with them for a while. Yeah, mm-hmm. before they were betrayed. Mm-hmm. And Jean... Uh, sees this and it's <laughs> really hard time for him. Yeah, yeah, he's like being swayed by Flock and then he sees guys oh, whose name Capone. I cannot say. Onyo. I Onyo. literally just remembered it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks at him and, and he's like, oh, wait, come back to reality. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, wait, yeah, we can't kill these guys. Yeah. yeah. But he <laughs> also was like, what did you call me? What did he yeah. call you? So he, he was like, like cheeky. He was cheeky, sneaky, annoying guy. Yeah. What'd you call me? <laughs> yeah. That was such a random thing to say just before coming back to himself. So mm. I, I didn't I didn't get if that meant something. Do you think? Mm. Mm. Well, they cut away. Yeah. yeah. Flock is doing, like, big brain. No. Uh, quadruple agent. No. <laughs> Five head. Wait, what? <laughs> 5,000 IQ play <laughs> to like get the Jaegerists under control mm, to like act quell like the he's volunteers uh-huh, uh-huh. but like still be on the side of like 
our little team here. <laughs> and that was Cody was giving John? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, that would make sense if because of that one thing he's like what because does it just was, call me otherwise thinking, it makes no sense because i was thinking jean was like the most leadery guy he was never sneaky mm. he uh, annoying yeah but he was he was a sneaky no was he, he was cheeky? cheeky i don't i Aaron cannot remember cheekier. carefree jean, jean. jean. what jean. if and this is crazy but what if Flock inherits a titan at some point. That's what I was because, saying in the, the reaction. Yeah. Because of these freedom no, 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 fighting. No, because he never knew John when he was like that. Oh. He, he didn't meet John to, when he was that like that, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. He, he, he was, because he was one of the newer recruits, yeah. That's, that was when John was like leader boy. Hmm. That, that could, because I, I, the reason I thought that is just his whole display with his, his talk to the recruits, I think, just after you killed the guy. It was just like a more carefree errand to me. It was like yeah. the freedom call. Mm-hmm. It was He's basically striving for this freedom. It's like He seems like he's going to inherit. Mm. And the him saying That's that he problem. was told... <laughs> yeah. Him saying that he was told... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? What if Flock is the actual master? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm still back, to, back to the reality. No, 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 because I keep oh, saying... Oh, you mean like from the future yes. into Aaron's head. Did you you get back that? in. I'm He's back, back in. in. You didn't get that. That's no. what I meant. Because I was saying from before... Okay, this is spiking the audio so bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> this is exciting. This is what I was saying from before. If Aaron is the future one controlling the past, what if there's a mastermind controlling Aaron? I, 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 they haven't shown any anything that would lead you to think that is just an idea but mm. if Flock is inheriting the titan i mean Aaron has to end somewhere yeah and unless the titans end someone else gets the titan someone else can be calling the shots so it could be possible that maybe Flock is the, the real mastermind behind this or someone after him mm. oh that all this is stemming from him calling him cheeky <laughs> this is true <laughs> this is true i like it um, th- we just had a couple things that happened after that. Um, Connie and Falco. Connie's yeah. giving him a lie because he woke up and you can't you can't control him. He's like, "Why am I tied up? Oh, sorry, you were injured. You were injured. <laughs> I that found perfect you. sense. <laughs> Falcon, <laughs> my arm is breaking. <laughs> the thing is, like, at first it was like Falco suspects something, but he only barely suspects something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He suspects that. I mean, he he's like, I think I should know this guy. Like, he's keeping some stuff to himself, mm-hmm. but he doesn't understand, like, Connie's not taking you to a safe place. <laughs> Hospital. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> so he really does think that Connie is trying to help, help him. Because mm-hmm. he was, like, saying to himself, it's a good like, thing Connie's a nice guy. <laughs> good thing I happened upon this nice guy in the middle of what was a war from what I last remember. <laughs> Mister, why you got death in your eyes? <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and he was like, he was like, <laughs> he was like uh, the sunset came into play I was gonna say right mm-hmm. there because the title of the episode was sunset mm-hmm. and they were like they were riding into towards the sunset or something or away from it mm-hmm. like it's suicide because yeah. the, he was like something about the south like he's, he wanted mm-hmm. to go to the south mm-hmm. and I was like this is not the right way it was like don't worry we have to make it this way to stay safe or something uh-huh. like that mm-hmm. Hanji and Leva apparently refuses to die yes, yes. So she found bandages out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. <laughs> it must have just, been like she carries. I bet she just carries. She just everything carries everything on her. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. It's handy. Yeah, it's believable. Yeah. She did also find a horse and cart, so maybe she did find like a, a village or a settlement somewhere. Probably because they are, you know, you know, used to going out outside mm-hmm. of the wall, so they probably like know where places are. A rural mm-hmm. area. A rural area. Yeah. 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 Someone probably lives on the stream. Mm. Yeah, and now. Not the meetup that I was expecting. No. Peak and the other Marshall. Yeah. Well, uh, this is good because Hanji's not on the Jaegerist side. Yes. Um, and these guys are afraid of Eren. Mm-hmm. Um, they, it's going to take some time for them to, I don't know, believe her. Mm-hmm. Because they are basically the, the military. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they could kill her. There, she was about to eat her. She didn't even wait. She, She's she, like, uniform, eat. <laughs> not even. She just said, uh... Hi, what? <laughs> <laughs> you had to 
Let me at hello. Oh, you the dishes at hello. <laughs> But yeah. Yes. Yeah, so not the most action packed episode, but it's got action packed, I don't know, implications. Theories. Theories. <laughs> yeah, so that was fun. Guys, thank you very, very much for being here. Guys, like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And remember to check out the Patreon if you want to see the uncut version of this reaction or anything else that we do. And remember to check out the social media as well as the shorts and the reels that we have uh, made by her. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. It's a TikTok, not a reels. Not, sh not shorts. Oh, hi. Uh, and thanks to our patrons Washington, Tyrone, Eddie J, Joker, and CC Flips.